speaking of a good coach uh, <laughs> this could be the edgy part of the of the pod uh so chad um red raider fans have not exactly uh rolled out the red carpet for uh, our friend chris beard as he makes his uh return to <laughs> lubbock tonight uh so you know is this level of vitriol is it warranted um you know for a guy that obviously skipped town went uh, went to austin well show me anywhere where somebody left one program that they were supposedly devoted to and went to that program or pro team's biggest rival and had it easy when they came back you know I mean, I immediately think of Bryce, NBA guy of LeBron James, his first time with the Heat coming back to Cleveland and things like that. And, and I tell you what, you know, true confessions right here, and maybe this is the edgy part, right? I've spent many a night lying in bed thinking about what I would like to do to Chris Beard if I were to encounter him on the street, <laughs> what I'd like to say to him. <laughs> And, and, and some have been funny and some have been, some have been mean, some have been maybe a tad violent, you know, but my best one is uh, I have this dream scenario because I was I ended up on, a, on an elevator with Shaka Smart once upon a time before Shaka, you know, in, going into his first season. And, and but my dream scenario would be to end up on an elevator with Chris Beard and just look over and go, man, I hope this elevator doesn't go into overtime. <laughs> <laughs> well played well played but, okay having said that all right here's the thing texas tech is having a really good basketball season mm -hmm. they ha ended up hiring a really good coach it looks like in mark adams they've got the program moving in a fantastic direction and they're going to be a, they're going to have a full crowd to, uh you know this is tuesday when we're filming this so they're going to have they're going to have a big full crowd but it won't be the first time this season they had a big boisterous crowd for the big 12 sec challenge on saturday you know and uh, a big loud crowd for uh, when West Virginia came to town. So people don't understand. Chris Beard did not invent basketball at Texas Tech. You know, neither did Bob Knight, neither did James Dickey. Gerald Myers maybe was the pioneer, but there was probably somebody even before Gerald Myers. You know, I mean, my parents were going to sold out Texas Tech basketball games when they were kids. You know, I was watching Bubba Jennings and Tony Benford lead Tech to the Southwest Conference Championship when I was in elementary school, you know? So people talking about this being the biggest game in Texas Tech basketball history, no, that's not even, not even close, okay? Like I was in a hospital bed in Oklahoma City in 1996 when Texas Tech was playing Allen Iverson's Georgetown in Sweet 16, you know? So don't tell me about the biggest game in Texas Tech history, all right? Well, they played in the Dead Gum National Championship game a few years I didn't want to bring that one up because, because of who the coach was and how he, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, Okay, oh, uh, let me let me respond ahead, to this. Uh, I, I will say I think Chris Beard has obviously made a big impact on, on this team. I mean, he brought in some of those players. They were good when Coach Adams got them. I think Coach Adams is maybe making them better, and he's brought in some more pieces. But I think Tech fans should remember that. And uh, I thought oh, the bus come greeting. On, John. Hey, Chad, no. let me finish, okay? No, okay. Uh, I thought the bus greeting was over the top yesterday oh i okay let me weigh in now uh anyway so i saw uh brian davis our good friend from the austin american state statesman tweet out you're a good friend maybe <laughs> okay uh he tweeted out a, a video of of the reaction there and personally i thought big friggin deal uh i agree with chad that um, what kind of reaction did they expect? I mean, you know. Well, they should have security, more security there, not for them to be so close to the bus. They, they didn't even seem like they were that close. Oh, they, they were, were They were I surrounding mean, I, the bus. The video that I saw, uh, maybe I'm, maybe you're talking about another one that I haven't seen, but the one I saw, they were get, they were 30 feet away. They were, uh, they were just yelling things and it looked like, college sports i mean to me i mean how about bird flipping and cussing well 
uh, uh, so oh my goodness they flipped them the bird I, that's what i'm saying this this happens all the time i mean ou texas uh you know i mean this is just part of college sports i'm not necessarily condoning it but at the same time um chad's right like when kevin durant came back to oklahoma city they they held up in cupcakes because he's so soft you know i mean mm -hmm. uh you know, this is what you get. I mean, well, let me jump back in. Okay. I, I don't, I don't want to be all over John. I wish the bus thing hadn't happened, you know, but it did. And, you know, they didn't, there was no, we, John and I discussed this earlier. There were no, there was no violence, you know, there was maybe some bad behavior, but I mean, <laughs> you're rolling a bus <laughs> into where people have been camping out and they hate you. You know, they hate you. Was anybody surprised? That, you know, they hate you. Yeah. Don't have a shoot around. And have, it, uh, have it during the day or don't have it. And know? this, it's, and Chad, you may get offended by this, but uh, this kind of behavior, Texas Tech fans embrace. They want <laughs> to be known as kind of the rowdy, uh, the rowdy fan base, and I, I think they've cultivated that relate that uh, reputation pretty well. That's well, that's, point, I mean, brother. it's kind of like the Oakland Raiders deal, but I, I will say this, this is, this makes me kind of hopeful. Now we're filming this on Tuesday, so I may look like, you know, this may look like a freezing cold take tomorrow. I hope not, but it might. <laughs> but a lot of the narrative, especially even coming from Joey McGuire and the tech student organization called the Raider Riot, it's kind of the fan, the student fan organization specifically for basketball. They're putting out the narrative, support our team, be loud, don't throw stuff, you know. Well, and I, I even have gone so far as to, to reply to them on Twitter. Hey, like what y'all are doing, flood the zone with people that are good ambassadors for tech. And I think they get they they see what's coming enough to be able to get out in front of it. And I think that's probably what's going to happen tonight. Now, like I said, this is maybe a freezing cold take by this time tomorrow. No, that's smart. That's smart for them to do that. And here's the other thing. I don't care what school you're at every fan base has some knuckleheads and mm. every fan base has you know some some classier fans uh you know I, I, even you know the nebraskas of the world who have sort of this reputation of you know they applaud the opposing team when they leave the field or whatever uh they they're gonna have some some jerks in their fan base too so well i'll give you i'll give you a perfect example one of the nicest people uh, i know He's a Waco resident, an old Miss alum named Don Jurgensen. Very, very nice man. He, he, he's an old Miss alum. Stephen Hawkins, old Miss alum, right? Mm -hmm. But when my family went to the uh, Cotton Bowl in 2009, I had to move my dad and brother in law away from this one particular nasty group of old Miss fans, or we were going to have a major, major problem. You know, my, and I say that because my dad and brother-in-law are big dudes and they don't put up with, you know, BS. But these old Miss fans were all in our face, were nasty. And I was just like, there's some empty seats in the end zone. Let's go sit there. And that's what we did. And, and I've had, I've had like a bad, uh, that was, that was a bad impression that old Miss fans made on me. Now, like I said, one of the nicest people I know is an old Miss fan. So. Yeah. We could go down this rabbit hole for a pretty deep, but uh <laughs> Let's let's. Rabbit, that's what we're here for, right? Yeah, no, right. And that was that was fun stuff. 